hello my friends, Pipers, YTPC, how are you doing? In Switzerland we are waiting for spring and uh, we had a, a ray of sunshine uh, a couple of days but went away and uh, it's raining and cloudy at the moment. Officially it's uh, started uh, spring um, and we switched to summertime. But uh, I can't use my rocking chair on the balcony because it's uh, drizzly and uh, blustery and uh, wet gets everywhere. So, um, but officially at least, uh, in springtime I think about cobs and uh, I thought I would share my um, more recent uh, cob acquisitions because uh, in a number of videos you've seen my inexpensive uh, pipes and included the cobs and um, occasionally I showed a Christmas cob or Halloween cob. Um, so these ones I acquired over the last year and uh, they're all unsmoked. Um, so uh, let's have a look at those cobs, my friends. <laughs> so um, here are the uh, newer cobs that I've bought uh, over the last year. Um, maybe in my collection I have 25 cobs. A number of them have been pre presented in other videos so um, I'll just show the ones that I've collected more recently and uh, there are all unsmoked waiting their moment. Uh, I love uh, a cob in summer so generally I, I smoke them in spring or, or summer around that time. Um, so let's start uh, here clockwise. Um, this is actually the uh, C&D um, special edition Morganton Carola uh, limited edition. Um, and this is the only pipe here that is unfiltered. There you see the special la label in honor of uh, C and D. And it's a lovely shape, a spindle, if you like, cotton reel sort of uh, shape. And uh, the stem is really lovely. There you see it better. And I couldn't actually convert this to six millimeter because uh, it's just too small here. It'll be too uh, thin at the edge if I converted this. So I'll have to smoke it with a, a shallow pad in the bottom there. And I do occasionally smoke uh, certain tobaccos with unfiltered, you know. So that's number one. Uh, number two is the Bracken pipe. Again, an, an interesting shape bought directly from uh, uh, Missouri Meerschaum. And this one was uh, six millimeter and I bought it. And the Savinelli's are my first choice now for filters because uh, they're longer and they fit almost actually every six millimeter pipe that I have. 
and they work very well and the draw is very good. Nice thick bowls which is typical of um, cobs but uh, this particular one is very thick. And the bracken is uh, a type of fern in uh, Missouri so uh, that's where the name came from. Then I've got uh, a Washington a Washington model here. Uh, I've got two of these um, and I wanted a, a second one because uh, I smoke in two places in S South Switzerland and here. Um, and I had a forever stem that I converted to six millimeter. All you need to do is just a drill for a cup and that holds the filter. And then you have to make sure the shank is uh, long enough for the, the length of the filter, which is it. And I love the forever stems because they're just so beautiful. Lovely pipe. So number four is uh, the classic country gentleman and um, this is the most popular one and this lovely stain on the barrel here is fantastic and I've probably got at least three of them and I wanted a, a reserve so this is Country Gentleman Reserve and that's the original filter that they give. I will replace that with a charcoal filter because this is just paper. And I think, you know, it's just uh, lovely to, to hold this smooth barrel shape. And I think every piper should have one of these, at least uh, one cob, you know, and if it's one cob, then this one. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. So this one is the, uh, the second C&D uh, special cob different shape very very elegant I think this one and uh, a beautiful sort of gray white stem here and this is the Morganton evergreen I would have thought they made a green stem but they offered this with this but this is something different and uh, very elegant and it was wide enough, wide enough for me. You see it's a quite wide uh, tenon here and I drilled it and it was enough, uh, enough to put one of these uh, short filters in it, Parisa. Vowen has a similar kind of six millimeter filter. Um, good enough. And I didn't want to drill further in the shank, so I, I quite accept that shorter filter. It's good for one bowl, you know. And it's a very deep bowl. My little finger goes all the way in there. Lovely pipe, I think, very elegant and quite long, so a nice, cool uh, smoke with this one. Won't be long before I try that. Huh. 
So number five, number five, I actually bought um, tobaccopipes.com. I think that's one that they commissioned from Missouri Meerschaum. And um, I think it was Smoking Cardboard had one of these and I thought, oh, that looks really lovely, uh, you know, with this uh, panelled finish. Very unusual and lovely brown stain. And then this amber, uh, beautiful stem, you know. I actually bought a lot of these white softies um, from uh, AliExpress <laughs> um, to have, because I notice uh, some stems when they're soft. Um, for example, this is green plastic. They, they show the, the clench marks very easily and I didn't want to uh, this is acrylic, uh, but uh, I wanted to protect it with this. And uh, it was big enough, again, to drill a cup here and put a short six millimeter active charcoal in it. Um, I'll attach the uh, video where I showed how, how I did it and several other channels have shown you, you can drill re relatively easily these kind of uh, tenons uh, if you're careful. So, uh, so far I did maybe 20 pipes or, and, and cobs uh, uh, drilling the tenon and that worked every time. And I love this uh, diamond shank here, which is where the name comes from, of course. That's a really lovely different cob. So, what are we doing? That's number seven. This is uh, a Dagna pipe, and I uh, got this uh, direct from Missouri Meerschaum. And there you see it, Dagna pipes. And it's a nice sitter. Very nice. Nice finish, just like the country gentleman. Something different and uh, the diamond shank again, yeah. Which I just, this is really lovely. And the last one is uh, the Boone. Pipe. I got this uh, smokingpipes.com um, because their shipping is so uh, cheaper than anyone. Uh, Missouri Meerschaum is uh, quite pricey when they ship to Europe, but uh, if I can get it on smokingpipes.com, it's uh, always my first choice and uh, lovely green stem here and uh, again I drilled it and here's the uh, Vowen Dr. Pearl short filter you know so you can use those as well It's a nice, almost barrel shape, but uh, it's more like a, a vase, you know. But it's filled and uh, sealed, so 
Some people like the natural finish. I've got one or two, but generally I, for the insulation, I prefer this version. And that's my summary of the new cobs in recent times at least. So I uh, hope you like those cobs. There's actually a bigger choice. Uh, Missouri Meerschaum uh, and smoking pipes uh, and tobacco pipes. Uh, there are new models out there and uh, of course uh, other ones, um, Milan Tobacco, the painted cobs as well. So great choice. Which one do I picked to smoke today? This one. This is the C&D Morganton uh, Evercream. And uh, it's a lovely pipe and cool smoke. Got a softy on, on it and uh, which tobacco would you smoke with your first cob in spring? Well, uh, this one, of course. The Great Dane, Missouri Meerschaum. They've got everything, almost everything. And um, this is a lovely tobacco. Actually, all of their tobaccos I find really good, mild and pleasant. So I've got most of them. And it's a lovely flavor. It's uh, caramel and uh, vanilla. Apparently some cherry, but I can't really feel that uh, cherry, but um, I think uh, tobacco reviews have uh, three stars from four. And of course I need a tamper and on corn cob day, I've got a corn cob tamper from Larry Blackett. Heavy duty, but um, easy, easy to tamper. Lovely. And I was thinking also uh, about a, a corn cob lighter, but uh, actually I couldn't find any Zippo with a corn cob. And I wrote to Missouri Meerschaum, um, would you like to offer a Zippo with your emblem on, on it? And they said, oh, actually, we're thinking about that. But they thought Zippos are a bit more expensive for, for corn cob pipers. But I'm sure if they did it, let's say $45, $45 or something, um, they will sell out in days, you know. So they're thinking about that lighter. <laughs> but what I bought with uh, one of the most recent cobs was a shop glass. Uh, I have to be careful because this is actually full of bourbon because it's a cold afternoon and it's got in green uh, Missouri Meerschaum with a couple of cobs on it. You can see it better here. Cheers, my dears. And what would you actually have for a bourbon on corn cob day? At least for me, it's corn cob day. Let me show you this one. Mellow corn, bottle and bond. 
Yay! Look at that label. It's full of the South, you know, and this is uh, Heaven, Heaven Hills Distillery. And uh, I thought I must try this one. And uh, it's actually to my liking, you know, um, in Switzerland, it costs about $33. And in America, great America, you can buy this under $20. So it's relatively cheap uh, bourbon, but it's got um, about, I don't know, 85% uh, uh, maize in it. So a, a bit of rye and uh, it's 50% volume. So, uh, and that guarantees uh, a bit more flavor. And uh, what I found is um, it's an interesting flavor because uh, it's not overly sweet. You would think more maize, it's gonna be very sweet. It's not like a liqueur or something like that. It's not, it's, it's mild to medium sweet, but it's kind of a, a bready plantain kind of flavor bit behind that. It reminds me personally of, of cornbread, uh, which I loved in America. Uh, you can't get it over here. And, and all the diners uh, and simple restaurants, they, they offer cornbread in America. I mean, it's a wonderful thing. It's delicious. I could live the rest of my life just eating this. But um, some of that flavor is in this bourbon and that makes it a, a star for me, at least affordable. As you see, I've made a, a dent in this. Um, well, I've had it about a year. Uh, and so I reordered another bottle. Certainly worth a try with your cob, of course. So in a rainy afternoon, what would you do? A corn cob and a, a shot of bourbon before dinner, for example. So rumor has it next week we will have sunshine the temperatures are going between 15 and 20 centigrade so and the daffodils are out and uh, all the blooms cherry trees are blooming and the the bees are around but it's suppressed at the moment with the uh, the rain unfortunately but it was good for my garden because I actually pulled up the moss and put a lot of uh, grass fertilizer out there and um, that bit of rain will help so a bit of rain is a good thing especially when you can have uh, your corn cob inside with a drop of uh, <laughs> well that's it for today take care of yourselves and I'll see you in a week or so about something quite different 